Okay, so um, bear with my voice because I'm sick if you can't tell. Anyways, um, I'm going to talk about number homework one uh, and how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to start it. It's really easy. Okay, okay so um, I'm going to click to enlarge the graph. All right, so now I have my graph enlarged. All right, and if I look at my equation to my left, all right, it gives me y minus 1 is equal to negative 5 times x minus 1. And let me see. Uh, let's do this. Just need, uh, let me do word. Let me do word. I'll do word. That would be just easier. Office. Okay. All right, we'll use this one that I'm given here. All right, so I'm going to erase this. Just so that for the sake of, okay. So I was given the equation y, y minus two, y minus two is equal to, and I said negative five, then x minus one, okay. Point slope form is the equation y is minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where x1 and y1 are a specific point on the graph, and m represents our slope. Okay, so now looking at this, if I look at this equation and point slope form, my m is equal to negative 5. That's my slope. Well, the point where I'm going to begin, unlike slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. Where begin, begin is our y-intercept. Here, we don't have a y-intercept. We have the point y1, x1. So now, when I take this out, remember, our formula is negative. So when I take it out, our sign flips, so that's going to become positive 1. And this is negative 2, so that's going to become positive 2. So I'm going to begin at 1, 2. So I'm going to go to my graph, and I'm going to put the point. Cancel. No. Okay. Ah. Hold on. I'm going to clear. Cancel. Dang it. Hold on. Let me go back. Hopefully it will be the same problem. If not, oh, well, we'll just do it. Uh, give me a different one. Oh, well. Okay. So, well, if I look at this, I'm going to click on that line there. So it's a line. And if, so that's 2, 4, or rather 4, 2. So I'm going to go here and go to 4 and then go to 2. That's my point where I begin. From that point, I'm negative 2. So from that point where I begin, I'm going to go down 2 because that's my slope. And then write 1. And then save. Check my answer. Done. Excellent job. Let's do one more. So, just because I'm a little confused, I want to make sure that I'm understanding this. So, I'm going to hit this little option, similar question. Again, both my x1 and my y1 are negative. Um, so, this one, I'm going to go click that. I'm going to go to where it's 2, 1. So, that's right there. Then, from 2, 1, I'm going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, and then write one for my slope. So now, instead of starting from your slope inter from your y-intercept, you're now starting from that point that's in that point slope form. And I'm gonna hit save. Check my answer. Yay! I did it right. Okay. Now, again, guys, don't forget this question. Help. Help me solve this. Read what it's asking you to do. All right. We'll find the coordinate. What are the coordinates of x1 and y1 on the line in this? I'm going to type an ordered pair. If I look at that, my ordered pair is the point 2, comma, oops, comma, 1. That's an ordered pair. Check answer. Now, let's say, like, I'm completely clueless, okay? So, I'm going to, I'm going to put a T in there because I got no clue what to put in there. All right. 
So now look at this. It tells me, sorry, that's not correct. Read what it tells you. The equation is in point slope form. Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1. The slope M is the coefficient of X. So if I look at that, that's the coefficient. So that means if I look at that, that's going to tell me, oh, well, it's negative 5. But let's say I'm still completely clueless. Oh, look, it tells me the correct answer is negative 5. So if I look at my equation given, I can tell, okay, that's negative 5. Graph the line, all right, let's 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 tell me, I'm like confused, I'm like got no, like I'm not graphing it right, okay? So it tells me, it's gonna take you step by step. It put the right point on there, okay? I'm gonna continue. So now it's telling me to move it, all right? Let's say I move it over here, okay? I'm gonna check the answer. Again, it's telling me that I'm not doing it right. It tells me where I should have put that point, okay? Then it shows me where I should have connected that line. It, the, use the system. It will help you guys really handle these. All right. And if you get it wrong, hit similar question to get it right. Number uh, two is done the same way. Number um, three, now we're looking at these points. And of my answer choices, I want to pick which one matches. So I'm going to zoom in. Now, my points, I want to look. All right. Well, my slope is negative. So I know A and B or A and D are not going to be my answer choices. And I'm negative 1, so down 1 and then to the left 10. <coughs> so my answer choice is either going to be B or C. So now I need to figure out well which coordinate point do we use? Did we use -5 3? All right. Well, let's think about that. Neither of my answer choices have ne 3 or negative. They have negative 5, but they don't have the 3. So I did not use that point. So let's look at this point here. This point is at 5, 2. 5, 2. When I put that in, remember, it's x minus x1. So then that gives me my answer choice B. So I'm going to check my answer. Ah, I got it right. Done. Again, use the help system. Number uh, 4. This one, the help system, will really help you walk through. But let's go ahead and, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's erase. The help system on this will definitely walk you through the entire problem. But this is really, really easy. It's an easy problem. Okay. Um, we have negative 5, 2. And our slope is 6. So I'm going to use, I have a point and I have a slope. So we have to use point slope form. We cannot use, this is not our y intercept. And the problem tells me to put it in point slope form. Okay, so I'm going to substitute. Remember, this is x1 and this is y1. So I'm going to say y minus 2 is equal to our slope 6 times x. Now, here's the tricky part. That's minus. This is minus. This is going to become plus. That's all we need to do. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to write in <clears throat> y minus 2 is equal to 6 parentheses x plus Five. Close parentheses. Check. Done. Nice work. If I got it wrong or I struggled with it and I had to go through that, do a similar question again. Make sure you really understand it. Listen, the help you solve on this will really walk you through it and really help you understand it. Look, think about what it's asking. It says substitute the x for the x1 and x. Uh, what do we substitute for the x1? Well, the value of x is 2. Or sorry, not 2. Ah. Negative 5. What do we substitute? What's, what's y? 2. Again, if you completely bork this, let's say I just put whatever. I'll put r. Because let's say I'm confused. I don't understand. I'm going to put d. I'm just going to put whatever. Okay, one of your answers is correct. 
I'm going to keep doing it until it tells me what it should be. Okay, the correct answer, so in this place here, for the y1, I should have put 2. Uh, it should have been, um, should for y1, I should have put 2. And for x1, I should have put negative 5. It tells me the order that they should have been in. Okay, and again, let's say I mess up again and I still have no clue. I'm confused. Check your answer. Keep checking it until it gives you the answer. So see how it shows it to you. It gives it to you step by step. Use this help system. That's what your answer should look like. And it tells, therefore, the point slope form and lies in this form like it's given. Use the help system. It will really help you understand and work through the problems. It, it's like it is your best friend in this. So again, with number five, let's, I got no clue on what I need doing. Use the question help. Help us solve it. Walk it through. Okay, determine which one is the independent, which one is dependent value. If we're going to use point slope form, that means that we're going to have a slope, a rate of change, and we're going to have a coordinate point. Okay. Uh, let me see. No. Two points. Okay. So um, we're going to write equation in point slope form. And listen, this one will be on your test on Thursday. Or this kind of question will be on your test on Thursday. So I'm given the point um, negative 9, 7. And I'm given the point 6, 2. So I need to find my slope. So my slope is going to be 2 minus 7 over 6 plus 9. Um, that's going to give me negative 5 over um, 9 plus 6 is going to give me, uh, let's see, 15. This reduces to 1, negative 1 thirds. So my slope is negative 1 thirds. Now I need to put in point slope form. I can pick either question. Does it tell me which point to use? Oh, and it tells me to, oh, nope. Okay, it says slope intercept form. Now, note, this is going to be step question number one. Now I'm going to put in slope, point slope. I'm going to pick either one. I'm going to pick this one. Doesn't matter. Either one will give you the same final answer. So I'm going to say y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 third times x minus 6. Distribute. That's going to give me y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 third x plus 2. I'm going to add 2, add 2. That's going to give me y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 4. So y is equal to negative and I'm going to put my fraction. Oop, hold on, let's see. What did I do? Oops. Mm, probably wants me to put the X on top. Let's see. No, okay, let's see what it says. Oh, shh. Ah, my bad. It originally wanted it in point slope intercept. Or Slope intercept, it wanted the first section, it wanted it in point slope form. Then it wants me in slope intercept form. So I went too far. <coughs> Whoops. But do you see how that can help you when, in terms of make sure you're paying attention, not make the mistake like I did, and read what it's asking you to do. Now it wanted me to give me the slope intercept. So, okay, so I got this partially wrong. So I want it to get 100. So I'm going to do similar question and redo it. It's that easy. 
here you're dealing with the same idea you just have coordinate you have a table instead of a coordinate points um number nine is just like one and two you're given that point so you're going to go to that point and then do your slope i think hopefully that will help you with the homework i'll see you next